This is the Nerf Ultra Screen Machine. It is a semi-automatic, battery-powered flywheel blaster with rear-loading cylinder that holds up to six Ultra Darts. It is very similar to the Nerf Ultra 2, except the screen machine has a permanent stock. We think that the screen machine's blue and white color scheme is an improvement over the first Ultra Blaster. The previous handles have been on the small side. While this trend continues, this one doesn't feel quite as bad. Mostly this is because it is a two-handed blaster. With one hand supporting the front grip of the blaster, the dominant hand doesn't need to tightly grasp the main handle. The stock, while short, is long enough to be useful. The top of the blaster features a long carry handle, tactical rail, and dart storage. The battery tray is secured with one screw. The tray takes six AA batteries, and installation and removal, while not impossible, is certainly not effortless. Twelve Sonic Scream darts are also included. The power of the Scream machine is respectable. It fires at an average speed of 103 feet per second, which is better than the original Ultra 2 and considerably faster than the Elite style blasters. It also maintains a high rate of fire at three darts per second. The Ultra Scream machine is by far the best looking Ultra Blaster to date. It also performs better than the Ultra 2, but even so, $35 for a six shot blaster is quite a lot, especially now that magazine fed blasters are available in the Ultra line. We had a lot of misfires and jams with this gun. Quick to fix with the access door, but certainly not a gun you want for performance nerfing. We mostly found the gun underwhelming, not particularly reliable, and the trigger is chunky and uncomfortable to use. Because of this, Tom Squad gives the Nerf Ultra Screen Machine only one thumb up.